Another thing that AI and machine learning is going to assist with is tracking of personnel. So the ability to identify where people are related to hot zones or dangerous areas, or to show that they've left an area and completed a you know completed a, an assignment. So they enter a division or they leave a division or a search segment, whatever it is. Machine learning can automatically notify you, right, and tell you what they you know how long they were in there, when they came out, those kind of things. So like an on scene, back in service kind of action, but it's automatically feeding that to you. And then evacuation modeling. There's a pretty incredible need for that. Obviously, we see with urban conflagrations and the ability to move thousands and thousands of people very quickly. This is a machine learning model built on the Japanese standard for tsunami evacuation. So it's on foot. These are people walking. But what it does is it goes through and it finds every single address point in that evacuation zone. And then it's going to run an analysis and give it a route out of that evacuation zone to points that you've chosen. You know, it might be an area of last refuge or something like that. And then it gives you an analysis on how long that takes. So you'll see the tracks pop up and some of them will be red, some will be yellow, some will be green. So green, those people evacuating, they're meeting that standard. They're getting out of the area in 20 minutes or whatever it is. Red means we need to go back and adjust and maybe figure out why did they not meet that standard or what other alternatives do we have to get them out? Or do we need to find a golf course or a large parking lot or somewhere else to stage those personnel, those evacuees rather, to be able to safely leave a, a hazardous area. So just great, great, great life-saving kind of capabilities.